Hello Internet, I'm Matt Haas and this is Awesome Wood Things. Welcome to another episode of WTV, Woodworking Top Videos. Okay, the set just keeps getting better and better. I made this tiny shelf. Stickers from other makers will go on these boards and the boards will go on the little shelf here. And as I switch between segments, I will flip it around and show additional stickers. Each one has a Roman numeral and it'll get higher and higher as the show goes on. Now, I don't have that many stickers, so get your stickers in. It's been sort of a slow week with the end of the year. However, a few awesome videos managed to slip in. So let's get this started. Coming in at number seven, PVC Air Tool Rack by Tab Left Workshop. That was pretty awesome, wasn't it? You know, sometimes shop projects can not be quite that awesome, but I thought it was cool how he figured out the exact sizes of the drill bits to hang the tools from. I liked it. Okay, coming in at number six, David Welder, Photo Frame 2 of 2. Now, usually I don't feature a maker back to back because he was in the last episode, but oh my goodness. He builds a new picture frame, and then you get to see what's in the pictures themselves. Oh, check it out. See, I told you it was awesome. Okay, coming in at number five, how to make a homemade bottle opener by Blazing Nail Gun. Yes, even the name of the channel is awesome. Check it out. Wasn't that cool? I know there's been a lot of bottle opener videos out there lately, but I like how this one uses the downward force. I think that's the key. And of course, magnets, that's cool. Okay, coming in at number four, Frank Howarth, segmented bowl clamp. Check it out. But it got me thinking about a completely different way to do the clamp, and that would be to have the threaded rod be attached to the base and pull the pressure plates down onto the bowl. And this seemed much simpler because I wouldn't need the rails and the structure and all the stuff above. And it should be ready to go for the next bowl. <laughs> There's just something about a Frank Howarth video. In addition to being a great maker, he's a brilliant storyteller. I find myself watching every minute from beginning to end. Love his videos. And I think it was cool that the design was much more simple. Why have the complexity if you don't need it? Good stuff. Coming in at number three, Justin Fasacetti, baseball bat made of 577 pieces. That's right, he turned his own baseball bat. It's insane. Check it out. I'm gonna take my shop back hose and suck the, up the segments once I cut them. See how the segments turned out in the collection. Whoa. And I can start the turning of the barrel at my house. What a 
great project. I even like the way he sucked up those little pieces with his shot back. Awesome through and through. Okay, coming in at number two, RetroWeld Barn Door Hardware Build. Check it out. Wasn't that cool? It's almost like he just thinks about what needs to be done and slaps it together and it works and it's awesome. Even his logo is awesome. I love Retro Weld. Good stuff every time. Okay folks, time for number one, Tyler G DIY wooden earrings. Check it out. I'm gonna use mostly the CNC to cut the shape of these earrings out and the rest of the work is done with a little bit of sandpaper. I'm going to use a round needle nose to start twisting an eye into this wire. And there you go. Boy, I love videos that make small items, and these were really small and super elegant too. It takes a lot of dexterity to use the tools on such small items, and I think they turned out great. I really liked it. All right, well, that wraps up another episode of WTV. Remember, get your stickers in. And if you have a suggestion for a show to be featured, hit me up on social media. Thanks, Internet. Unexpected question time. What's a lutz?